A horse's natural center of gravity is located directly under the rider at the heart girth. They have 60% of their weight in front of the leg and 40% of their weight behind the leg. As riders, it's our job to try and help the horse adjust their center of gravity. And we wanna bring that center of gravity behind where it's at underneath our seat bones. I like to explain the center of gravity using a teeter-totter analogy. Naturally, a horse's teeter-totter tips down onto the forehand because 60% of their weight is on the forehand. So if you picture a marble, if they're really traveling on the forehand, that marble rolls towards the front of the teeter-totter. As riders, we need to move that center of gravity back further and we want it to be just underneath our seat bones. The further back we can move the center of gravity, the easier it is for this horse to lift his abdominal muscles and engage his hindquarters and do high level maneuvers. So when I'm riding, I wanna think about bringing his neck towards my forehead. So I want it to come to me. With the neck initiating, then the rest of his neck will start to follow. Then this shoulder also needs to come up along with his rib cage. So when the front of his teeter-totter starts to come up, that allows his haunches now to come underneath and be in a position where he can be very balanced and stable. In order to start getting the front of his barrel up into that space that I talked about creating with the pelvis, we need to have that communication with our leg. If I don't get under the widest part of his barrel with my leg, there's nothing that will entice his abdominal muscles to engage and start to bring his back up. But in order to engage the back muscles, we need supplemental muscles to go to work as well. So those abdominal muscles need to lift in order for him to engage his back muscles. To recap, in order to move this center of gravity back, I want to initiate the teeter-totter coming up. I want to bring the neck to me when I'm riding him. That will bring the rest up. His shoulder then can start to follow, and then it's the job of my leg to send this part of his barrel up into the opening I've created with my pelvis. And when I can send this part of his teeter-totter up, I've successfully brought my center of gravity back further and allowed him to be able to engage his hindquarter muscles properly.